guys and welcome to Talk No Library. Hope you guys are ready for this. I know I am. Let's get into this. <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> I'm Aaron Cook. It's an advertisement for gaming. Yep, to be made. Which one do you want to read? Hmm. A candle out. Quest for out. Library full version? Question mark? No, I'm gonna quest for oats. The original plan came for this jam. A short RPG where the venture through a castle tried to get in the night's nest. I might never the name, but it would be very fun to practice in the meantime. It would probably take months of development despite how short it is. The book that looks more comfortable than napping rather than read. Take a nap? No. What's up here? The credits for the game. Created. First game jam. Created by RPG Maker. Look sound effects created. Skip tone. <laughs> Special effects. Cool, cool, cool. A book about how the game was made. Created. This one originally wanted to be a short RPG in the Midnight Snack. Original plan, three actors, small, has a few in the battle system, blah. I'm slowly crawled closer and closer to the deadline. Ah, I'm slow and cooler. I had too much work to make and too little time. I cut down on more things, no more battle systems, no more enemies, put a few in this earth. Only for leveling up. The foundation itself it was just too big for a game. I talked to my friend, met who tried to help me out. And I was on my own. My hopelessness shined through. I was just ready to drop out of the jam. Originally, I was going to submit anything I had that was somewhat playable or just shelve the game and work on it later. Then something special happened. One of these sprites I originally made was of this old ducky originally meant to be a toy for the core. In the original game, it turned into a whole new idea. Soon my idea came into my head. What if instead of a little RPG to explore, why not one room, a room with ducks in it? And thus, with more brainstorming, the Sun Library was made to show off the sprite work I've done and to make the concept possibly worth revisiting later in RPG where you're a duck. It's about how to open doors. Read it. First step to opening doors. Put your hands on the door. Second step is to turn it. Push the door. Sometimes you can even pull the doors, but it all depends on the door. Opening the door is quite easy. However, if you're an animal similar to a duck, opening doors will not be possible. Why, you may ask? Answer is simple. Because ducks don't understand the concept of door knobs, of course. Well, excuse me for being a duck. I myself would understand it and love being tiny. Don't just assume I'm some amateur duck. I'll go open this door right now. How about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think of that? You're a duck. You don't know how to open doors. Me. The book looks delicious. Take a bite? Yes. You had a few pages I can clear. You feel smarter and cooler already. Oh, goody. The book about pine cones. Read it. No! Pine cones. Disgusting. It's a bunch of books about animals. Okay. Who's my enemy? Who do I get to kill? You're far more interested in the tiger poster. It's about sea shanties. What the f is a sea shanty, champion? Well, it's quite simply a working song that ensured sellers involved in heavy, heavy behavioral tasks such as hoisting the sails. It used to make sure the crew was working at precisely the same time. The way they made this happen was by singing each song in rhythm. More often than not, led by a solo singer, the rest of the crew would join in the chorus. Hmm. It's a book about rocks. I'll probably eat a frog, toad, or frog. The word toad is usually used for frogs that have rather dry skin, as well as shorter hind legs. Monster frogs made many frogs in leagues more than 20 times, but by the way, the Australian water holding frog is a desert dweller that can wait up to seven years for the leaf bars underground surrounds itself in a transparent cocoon in its own shred. It's a book about bee facts. No, I hate bees. The 
the wolf and his shadow. The wolf left his lair, one evening, to find sprites. An excellent habitat. Any rain, he said in cast, and far shadowed the ground. And it looked as if the wolf were a hundred times bigger than that. Than he really was. Why is my wolf family see how big I am? Fancy me running away from the puny lion. I'll show him who's fit to be king. He or I. Just then, I am in the shadow of Lana and him. Entirely next to the instant, the lion struck him down with a single blow. Don't let your fancy make you forget reality. Good fucking love. Is that really appropriate? No. Don't worry about it, Frankenstein. Dictionary. Flip, a, flip to a random word. Sure. Foreshadow. A verb. Regard. A present. Particular. Foreshadow. A warning. Indicator. For the future. Flip to another page. But. Often use an emphasis for ass and that. A demonic expression. Okay. Starting on the side? No. Probably just him finding his reflection and then spinning around in a circle trying to get his kill. Because all of a sudden he sees his reflection, he'll be like, Reflection? Tail? Nearly all the room spin all the way around. What will just bark at himself and go bark, 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 bark. A bunch of picture books. Okay. Ah, this looks comfortable. Take a nap then. Let's take a nap. Mm. Good night. That doesn't look good enough for Dark Seed, which. Okay. But. Yeah. Alright, well, guys, I think I'm gonna take my nap here. Hope you guys enjoyed this little game, Ducks in the Library. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Mm.